it'll do stairs. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Upper Left RC. It's finally here, the new truck. I'm sure you already saw the thumbnail. I don't even know what's there. Let's just get into it. Bam, the Losi Nightcrawler, one tenth scale rock crawler. This is the SE model from Horizon Hobby. It's been out for a few years, but it's new to me. So I'm super excited to bust this thing open. The weather's getting nice outside. We need something a little bit bigger than a 24 scale. I think this is gonna be perfect. Let's open it up. All right, guys, we finally got it. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this thing. It took way too long to ship. I waited to unbox it with you guys, which sucks because I have a day job. So I've been staring at this all day to where I got time to finally get it open. So this is the Nightcrawler SE, which is scale edition, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It says scale edition, then it says SE again. I think it's the same thing. Uh, tons of lights, everything in it. It is ready to run, except for, oh my gosh, it's upside down, I don't even care. It, the only thing it doesn't come with is a battery or a charger for the battery, but that's okay. I bought some, here's one of them. I bought some of these, they came way before the truck and I've just been sitting here staring at them, waiting for the truck to get here. So two cell, 5,000 milliamp, 20C discharge LiPo. I got another one that's a 4,000 milliamp on the charger right now. Enough stalling, I can't wait anymore, I gotta see it. Oh, come on. Yes. So we got the green one. I really like the green. I think most of the people I've seen that buy these get the green one. There's blue, and I think those might be the only two colors, but come on, come on. I'm waiting too long. So this thing got lost in shipping for quite a while. It's about nine days late, and I'm okay with that because at least it showed up. So here it is. Man, that thing is so cool. I'm going to grab one of these uh, 24 scale crawlers for comparison. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. I mean, this thing is a monster. Much bigger than any of the other trucks that I have. But I'm really excited. It does have the uh, like standard rock crawler body. It's definitely got good articulation. Let's sit down and take a look at it closer. All right, so there's a few things we get in the box. So you get the truck, you get, I believe this is the transmitter. Yeah, definitely is. This thing is much bigger and chunkier than the other ones I got too. Big Chungus remote, but it, uh, I mean, it looks like all the other remotes. It doesn't have a grip on it, but that's fine. It's nice and big. It's definitely quite a bit wider than the normal ones too. And it looks like it has some pretty basic controls, throttle trim, steering trim, throttle, reverse, all that jazz, whatever. We're not here for the controller. Book, gone. This thing was on the bottom and I saw there was a little glimmer of something in there. So we're gonna bust that open too. And I need a knife or scissors. Let's just bust into it with these. So we get a tiny little scale jack stand that doesn't move. This is like an off-road jack you would lift the truck with. Um, I suppose it's scale to the bodies inside the truck. I don't know. Maybe we'll mount that to the side or something. You get a 100% totally fake plastic winch. It kind of looks cool, but I probably won't bother with that. It doesn't actually function or do anything. You get some batteries for the transmitter, which is good. You get the bind plug. This is new to me. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to hold on to it. Um, I'm sure it's to bind this to this or to bind this to other remotes. I'm not really sure. And some tools. Allen wrenches, hex key, all that jazz. All right, we got that out of the way. Let's take a gander at this thing. So it does have like a scale, little shovel, dirt breaker upper, and an axe. A little fuel tank on the back, which is kind of a cool touch. Two drivers and the light bars. The reason they call it the night crawler is it can crawl at night for sure. It's got this LED light bar up here, which is functional. Another one under the front axle. Two spotlights for the wheels that also light up. Nope, wait. Four spotlight wheels, or spotlights for the wheels. So two in the front, two in the back. Another light bar in the rear. This thing lights up like the 4th of July when you get it running. Um, let's take the body off. 
let's see. I don't even know where to start. I just want to play with it. It's so much fun. This isn't going to be a huge, super detailed review. People have been doing that for a while. This thing's been out for a while, but take those off. Bend the body out a little bit. Grab the other side. Make it flex, maybe. Oh, jeez. That is not an easy or fun way to take that off. But we got it off. We got all the lights hooked up. I'm just going to pop that out real quick. Looks like all the lights are connected underneath, and then it joins down to one wire, which is really handy to just unplug it and take the body off. It's got the blue connector. I don't know what that's called. This battery I bought because it had multiple connectors. I wasn't 100% sure which one it came with. It has adapters. So I can do the blue one, there's a red one, and a white one. I hope this fits. I read the box on which batteries work well. It does have a brief description of which ones are gonna work best. And this one wasn't on the list, but that's okay. We're gonna pop it in here and take a look anyways. Just wanna get it turned on. I wanna take it outside. And we will be running this thing. This is just the, the intro part. Boom, plugged in. Uh, it looks like it has a little waterproof cover over the rear switch back here. So your ECU, I think this is the ECU, could be the transmitter. Again, I'm not super detailed on stuff about RC cars. I'm still pretty new, um, but I've seen enough reviews to know that that's either the transmitter or the ECU or both. That looks like that might be the ECU or ESC. Why am I saying ECU? I can't even say the right words. Duh, who cares? Giant steering servo on the front here. It's got lock differentials, front and rear, four, four, full four wheel drive. We got big old motor down there, which, you know, to me it's big because I run 24 scale trucks. It's probably not that big in the grand scheme of things. Um, really nice shocks. I think these are oil filled shocks. It's got really good dampening, awesome articulation. I mean, look at this thing. You can almost get the rear standing straight up with the front wheels down. It's crazy. Uh, let's, I'm gonna pop some batteries into this thing. It came with some actually. I'll just pop these in there. We'll turn it on, take a look at the lights and then we gotta run this thing. Okay, we got the body back on. I got the batteries in the controller. I'm going to turn it on for the first time with you guys. Where's the... On? Oh, this is probably the on button. Yep. And then this little switch right down here. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness the battery had some juice in it. I didn't even think about that. I hadn't charged it yet. Look at all those lights, though, guys. Two pointing at the wheels, light bar under the hood, light in the front. And then same in the rear. You got two spotlights for the wheels and the rear. This thing is awesome. I love the way it glows through the green too. Really, really neat. Steering is pretty slow, but it's a rock crawler. It's not a rock racer. Pretty decent throttle control. You got all kinds of stuff that we need to play with, but it looks awesome with the lights. I'm really excited to run this thing. Let's get it, let's take it somewhere and run it. All right, I know this is ridiculous. This is not meant for something this size, but I figured before we go outside, why not try it on this? It is for rock crawlers. Oh boy. This was a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's really take it outside and play with it. Can it climb up a slide? That's a no. So this giant old playset was here when we bought the house, along with that tiny little house I put up there. It was down in the yard. Uh, the previous owners didn't want it anymore. So this is gonna be the start of an RC crawling outdoor course. Uh, my dad's gonna come help me build it this summer. It's gonna be awesome. But for now, we're gonna crawl across this perfect little bridge that's already here. All right, guys, few things happened when I was editing the video for this thing. So I'm just gonna throw this in somewhere in the middle. I realized that uh, some of the footage I had was lost and corrupted and I didn't really have much of the crawling 
um, left. So I took a bunch of bricks from my fire pit over there, stacked them up over here for a little obstacle, which leads up to the top of that little bridge we were on. So let's see how it crawls up this. new. I haven't tried it when it was icy cold out. <laughs> it's just slip sliding everywhere like it's on an ice rink. Wheels are filling up with ice. But anyways, I wanted to get you a little more a uh, little more footage of it crawling just to make the video a little more fun to watch. If anyone's curious what this board is here that I stacked all the rocks on and stuff, that was actually a rock wall like style climbing wall thing that was attached on the other side over there in front of that house. I've been I had it hidden down there with all the swings and that were on this, so decided to prop it up here. Makes a pretty good little crawling course. Um, Again, this is going to be much bigger and much cooler once uh, once we build it up to be an actual crawling course. Probably get rid of the slide, but the slide is actually fun because once I get up to the top, I can bring it back down pretty easily. Here. Well, it's going to throw it. Whoa! That's the controller. It's going to throw it up there real quick. This is typically what I've been doing. We'll run this one handed maybe if we can. Run it up the rock wall, <laughs> slide it back down. Oh, brought some pine cones with me. There we go. Slide it back down and then go back to the start and do it again. It's a fun little place to crawl, you know. Something for this that I have in my backyard, anyways. But, yep, that'll pretty much do it. I'll cut back to the uh, old footage in the video and we'll see you next time. Bonus footage this flower bed right here was also left when we bought the house, it's here. I'm gonna fill it with more dirt and this is gonna be an outdoor 24 scale crawling course that we can change up and switch up. It's pretty big compared to the inside stuff. There's the night crawler in it. So you can tell by scale, it's gonna be a pretty awesome, pretty big outdoor course for the 24 scale crawlers as well.
Look at the articulation on that thing. Oh, it's so exciting. Man, you could really get that thing twisted up somewhere cool. All right, guys, well, that is pretty much it for this video. It's gonna be a fairly short video. Um, I will get a lot more footage of crawling this thing. I'm gonna build some obstacles in the house with some boxes and things. But for now, this is the newest addition. It is gonna be my outdoor crawler. We'll take it places, get footage of it out in the wild, and we're also gonna build a really cool outdoor course out here uh, this summer. So if you wanna see that, subscribe. Get ready to check out some pretty cool stuff. I've got even more on the way, but I'm really excited with this thing and I'm excited to be able to use it. So we'll do that in the future. Forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah, we'll run this in the future. I totally lost my train of thought. I'm just too excited, guys, I'm sorry. But we'll see you in the next video and we'll see a lot more of this.